This is a video about how to upload from a spreadsheet into Sakai. Um, it's a little bit more advanced because it takes a little more doing. Sometimes it's not perfect, but if you follow directions here, it should work pretty, pretty well for you. Okay, so we're in a uh, site and we're on the calendar tool. And if we want to add a lot of events all at once, we can go to import. And it's asking which type we want. We can just say comma separated values. CSV is fine, so we'll hit continue. And when we do this, we can get a generic import template. So when we, if we can grab this, change it around, and then re-import uh, it, and it'll have all the things that we need on it. So I'm going to click that button right there. And when we do that, uh, on the desktop here, I'll have a zip file that's called calendar template.zip. I'm going to right-click and extract all and say yes. And when it opens up, it'll show these two um, things here. We've got an example import file.txt and a readme. Um, so one thing we want to do actually is change this txt and the example import file to a CSV. And it asks if we want to change it, we'll say yes. And when we open that up in Excel, then you will see all the different fields that we have here. So let me open this just a bit. Um, you can see that there's a title, a description, a date, a start time, a duration, which is either in hours or in minutes, um, a type, and there's a few different types, um, also location, frequency, interval, when the, it ends, the repeating time, uh, a test custom field, and, and whether or not it's required. So the only ones of these that are actually required are title, description, date, start, duration, type, and location. So all the rest of these I'm just going to get rid of. So I'll go over here and delete them. Now you can see that. You might also notice that, that the example here um, has a problem with it, which is that this doesn't look like a date, <laughs> and this doesn't look like a starting time, and this doesn't look like a duration, uh, etc. And so the reason is, is because um, this is a, they put a comma in here, um, so they intended these this part here to um, be one long thing, but they put a comma in between, and that, because this is a comma separated value, that actually bumped it into a new tab. So it's not really a good example. Um, so I will take this and take the whole row and just delete it. And now we have a, a better example. Um, in my site, I like to have a custom field, and the custom field that I added was um, instructor. So I'll add that right back here, here as a column. And here I'll say um, Dr. Jones is the instructor and Dr. Smith. Etc. Okay, so now I've got my CSV file. Um, for your own, you can obviously replace the example event and the example descriptions, um, dates, and all this other stuff um, with whatever you like. But I'm just going to keep it right the way it is right now. Before I go any further, I want to change one more thing, which is the date. Um, this example date says 2004, and if I import something that says 2004, I won't actually see it on my calendar because it's too long ago. So I'll go back and change these all to 2010. And save that. And then close up Excel. They're asking if it's okay to close with CSV. That's fine. Close out of there. Then when I go back to my browser, I can go back to import and the CSV and choose a file. I'm going to choose example import file CFV, CSV from the calendar template folder. And when I click continue, you can see that it's about to do all these events. So there's the date, there's the activity and time, and there's whether or not it should be imported. They all look good to me, so I'm going to hit Import Events. And there we go. So we can see all the different events showing up. They were all imported all at once. And even the custom field went over Dr. Smith and Dr. Jones for these individual events.